my work is based around marking time, space and form using traditional hand stitch techniques. The project is my collect open proposal and is titled Variations of a Stitch Cube. The concept really started after working with Stitch for so many years. And so I was really interested in how we measure time, this ever-present invisible force. And so I started looking really into the history of how we came up with the measurements that we measure time with now and looked all the way back to the Babylonians and Sumerian society and how they started to calculate time. The Sumerians, they based their calendar on 360 days in the year, which was 6 times 60. And using this highly composite number 60, creating a piece of work based around the measurement of time. I became really hyper aware of this, especially just recently during the making of the work. And so what I wanted to do is create a piece of work with self-imposed restrictions on it and investigate what I could physically do within an hour. We're all here trying to make a mark on the world and find our purpose. And so I kind of wanted to visualise and make something quite tactile and tangible as a physical object, something that you could pick up and hold in your hand. I'm very interested in the hand, the majesty of the hand and what we can do with it. A lot of my work is about habitual process driven making. It's something very comforting for me to do and explore. And so the variations of a stitch cube is a visual representation of time. The dimensions of the cubes directly relate to this number 60. And luckily, 60 is also the dimensions of my hand. So the cube kind of relates directly to the process of making by hand. The cubes are hand embroidered using seeding stitch. They start out originally as a flat object. And so I create a net pattern of a cube on the fabric by printing it. I start by stitching the piece and I always start in the same corner of the work. Just as I'm about to start, what I do is I have a timer and I record the time that it takes me to make each individual piece. The first cube, one hour of stitching. The second cube, two hours of stitching. So each cube that I stitch has an additional hour. Then I just stitch freely and I don't really think about where I'm going. Each kind of movement and every mark I make is kind of a rhythm of my body or of my hand. And then when it gets to the end of that specific time set, I'll stop whatever I do and finish at that point. I wanted it to be less about what it looks like and just more about recording the process of making. And so even though I'm doing the same stitch over and over again, you'd be able to see that there's a rhythm and there's a flow that changes across each cube. And so that could be affected by how I'm feeling that day or how cold I'm feeling or how warm I'm feeling. It might affect how quick I'm stitching. Once I've finished stitching on the piece of fabric for the amount of time that I've set out, I stretch over and pin the piece of fabric to the styrofoam cube. Once that's on, I carefully seam the side of the fabric using a suturing stitch and kind of seal the piece of fabric. I like the way it changes when I form it from a flat object to a three-dimensional object. And then when they're placed together, how they kind of relate to each other. People think that embroidery is this kind of domestic, gentle kind of activity. But actually when you do it for a sustained period of time, your eyes, your back, your posture, your hands, it's become almost like some kind of religious punishment. And then also mentally sustaining that much attention on one specific object for 60 hours is quite difficult. And it takes a lot of mental training and concentration to not want to just give up or be distracted. I like the idea of just taking that kind of aesthetic control out of my hands, stitching until time tells me to stop. I think it's been a great opportunity to again set myself a deadline, but also to present my work to a different audience. When you take a work out of a studio and put it into a white space and give it the focus and attention that you want it to have, then it kind of elevates that work a little bit more. So to be at Collect and to be part of the Collect Open, which has been curated by Crafts Council and Faye Too Good, is exciting. It's about pushing craft forward. So balance of both craft and conceptualism.